Attention Pokemon players, today we'll be going over the new Victini VMAX deck with its max victory attack that does 100 plus damage. So it does 120 damage to any V Pokemon. Um, so this uh, fire deck is different than most because you don't need Welder. You can just uh, manually attach and then go second turn. You can boss up whatever V Pokemon that is and basically just KO anything in your way. Um, there are workarounds to it where uh, it doesn't really do very much damage to tag teams or, or GX Pokemon. So that's why you have your, your standard uh, Reshiram and Charizard. You've got Heatran, you've got Mewtwo Mew to kind of cover some weaknesses and still be able to hit hard against those decks. As well, you also have your Volcanion that can hit through a Decidueye or get that Flare Starter up to just really set up um, two Pokemon on the bench. Um, so it's very versatile in the meta right now. And again, you don't really need that welder to get up and running like most fire decks do. This one is just, again, um, manual attach, but def definitely welder is a great option um, for draw. Um, as far as Pokemon search, you got four quick ball, um, basically in every deck. And then you um, have your two cherish balls to kind of just get out your Dedenes or any of these GX Pokemon that you definitely will need. Um, you also have an escape rope. Great. If they're only having one person on the bench, you can escape rope and take knockouts in that way pretty easily. Um, because you don't need um, just welder and you can manually attach, we do have a 1-1 count of Marnie's and Professor's Research um, to go along with um, you know, your draw support. So that's basically the list. Um, let's get into some gameplay and see how that goes. Mad party, not, not too good for us here. At this point, I don't even know if we want to evolve. <laughs> but if they do not get much, we can maybe possibly get stuff going on here. The good thing is they don't run stadiums usually in Mad Party, so we can maybe take some knockouts. Get two energies. <laughs> Nothing there, so. I don't know if we really want a Dedenne right now. I have that VMAX out there for, for later, so we do 30 times amount of energy, so it's, we're still doing 60, so we still got knock. Which is a good thing. That's not a mad party, or definitely setting ourselves up. Um, we can weld her onto this Victini, um, keep him. He still doesn't have anything in the discard pile as far as Pokemon to... Ooh, that's big time for him. He's down two plus this third one. So he'll have one more double colorless or twin energy. And then on top of that, he'll have um, only three more of the triple XL. So he's looking in trouble. If we can get some of these um, smaller prizers, not necessarily the big three prizer out there. Since he's still not set up for a win yet. Probably have a Dedenne in their hand, yeah. So they are starting to pile up a couple of the Mad Partiers. Still, if he can get two shot here, that's ideal for us. And we'll still be a two prize for two prize. And he will be set up. And hopefully we even get like a, another two prize or a one prize. Or get a Volcanion out there would be great. So that's good. So he isn't going into two-shot territory, which we're okay with making that trade for right now. 
Um, definitely don't want you to. Um, not great in this matchup at all. Um, I think we'll just evolve this one. We'll give two prizes here for next turn. Honestly. We could take knock. We definitely want to take knock. I think we do that. Try to get that volcano out there or some kind of... There we go. Don't need to evolve there him back in just getting some of these actually even better no we'll, we'll just get nothing try and find that energy perfect get that set up And still just take knockout, have Volcanion ready. So we're taking three prizes for three prizes. And then hopefully still in a good position. So even better, we can next um, eventually take out knockout on on this Tadene. Three colorless or three double energies there to take two prizes. So he'll be down. He'll have maybe three more energies left. And if we can t attack with Volcanian, they're definitely having to commit with some kind of energy there. It's a huge. Um, the whole manage like resource management as far as energies on Mad Party. So. When you're playing against Mad Party, you definitely want to make sure you know how many energies they have left. They typically run two double colorless and um, three triple XLs, um, is what I've seen is the most common with this Mad Party variant. So we know we have Knockout here with Volcanion, and they lo lose that energy. So that's still four energy down. Um, we'll put that there. And we will. I think we want to take out this guy because he has the balloon. Don't need that. He's the more versatile one. And take him out. So again, they are down a lot of resources. They have one triple XL down. Three, so they probably have three energies left if they're taking us out here. And they can't retrieve the energies. <laughs> so if they find a double colorless, it would be ideal for us. And then we just start throwing one prizers up there. One boss down, they typically run two. Again, they might, and if they prize any prize or uh, energy, uh, that's really, really good for us. So triple, which isn't the best because he's still going to knock us out.
14 cards. They'll get one card. Nothing too crazy here. So keep it in mind, he just did 200 damage to us. So he's going to be two-shotting this guy. Again, losing energy. So they only have two prizes left. Get rid of that. And take knockout here. So we are in a pretty decent spot. So of course they get that. They have two energies left in hand. They have one bundle be left. Unless they prize it, we'll see if they pull bundle be out now. And they do. Okay, so that's probably their last triple. So they have one double left, and they're not taking us out, so they'll have two prizes left. We knock him out, we're in a very good position. Okay, so professors, again, that's great for them. They might actually get it. They might just get that burn going here. Yeah, so they better have knockout right now. And they don't, which is good for us. So we just pass and we get the win. Um, so that's it. Gets the win right here. So it can outlast them for sure. All right, starting with Victini is always a good thing in this deck, right? We can get that pokey gear to hit us into a welder. That'd be great. And we're going to be drawing more. It looks like this is Eternatus. Um, Eternity Saw Valley? No, it's not Eternity, so it's a dark box. Which might not be the best for us. Um, did Dene start for them? Not great. So, Victini's not going to be doing a lot of damage in this matchup. I think we're going to definitely be relying on the Charizard Reshi and maybe some of the one prizers. Unless we're going to be going with his energy burst. Type null. Definitely red and blues is a possibility for sure. He's really going out for it. Greninja Zorak. Dark Box is definitely making a comeback at this point. I haven't played against it a lot, but I know other people have. And a lot of people are hyped on it, so we'll see how it goes. I, I initially don't think it's that great for Victini, just based off of Victini VMAX's, you know, his ability. Um, but, can't complain there. It's in here. Definitely get another welder. Mm 
maybe get a Charizard set up. Has options for sure. And we don't have anything in there, so we're good to go with that for some chip damage. They don't have any energies down. We'll see if they get the red and blues out. Stabilize and Tyranitar. Uh, that'll be going into discard here shortly. And there it is. Get that Spirit Tomb out there. Definitely take out a switch. And I think we'll get that Charizard loaded up. Put a balloon on him. We could take the Dedene out with the Heatran. there and just hit with the regular and take prizes and still set ourselves up for success here the great thing is if he comes up here and does um, load him up we can really just uh, try to really go in with a welder and <laughs> use Victini's uh, energy burst that can definitely potentially do some work depending on what they do here which I'm pretty sure they're going to red and blues here so if we also can get a welder we can just nuke him off the board with Charizard Rush going on maybe even just boss up kill the spirit tomb kill this type null um, and really set ourselves up for the next turn or possibly to denaying away the hand getting a uh, um, that's even better the dark pulse doesn't knock us out maybe take out slavali this point we don't need to clog the bench up with any more Pokemon. We'll just take one. And we'll boss up for 130, correct? Even better, we could just take out with Rushy. And we're down to two prizes, so we could even boss up something else and take more prizes at that point.
All right, so let's see what he decides to do, what he's able to do. Is he able to knock me out right here? Maybe. He goes um, with that Savali. There are options. If I can find a switch, I can just nuke this guy off with with his hot burn GX. 100, 200, 300. So if he doesn't knock us out, we're in a decent spot. Just professors away, maybe look for a crowbat or something to that effect. So again, Victini hasn't really done much in this matchup specifically, but this deck is versatile because it doesn't necessarily need to worry about just those VMAX decks. It can still handle tag team decks with uh, Charizard Resh. Um, probably the, one of the better um, tag team Pokemon out there. Just waiting to see what they do, Black Lance. So if we could find Okay, so we have the Dene out there. Let's see what we got here. Anything that we can... We don't need that. Yeah, so all we need to do is get that welder one two three four get one more welder that on and call it a day don't need to do that but might as well and do that extra damage for knockout and that is game We want to go first with uh, Bikini. And we do have the rush. Hopefully, we draw something that we can get some a big attack here coming up. Hopefully, it intimidates. And that's it for now. So at least they know if they hate the Kazanka, so this is gonna probably be a Spirit Tomb deck. Um, I didn't knock anything out, so I don't know if Bruno's the best call for that specific instance. So this might be a long grindy game for sure. So we're in a position where we can take knock here. Uh, we don't want to use the this yet. We just do that, give it to Charizard. Probably would have a be happy to have that there. And 
and we'll try to set ourselves up for success. Use Outrage as a weakness. 260. Um, oh, I missed for that. I thought, it, I thought we did 70. For some reason, thought that extra 10 damage. So that was a misplay on our part for sure. I don't know why I thought that did 70. But definitely can take out this guy for next turn. Don't really need to commit any more energies to Reshi. They want to take the one prizer out with this one. Give this energy here. Um, well, we don't really need the Mew 2 Mew. Don't need other three prizers to have 270 health. Just kind of thinning. Looking for that switch, escape rope, something. I'm not really liking that. Although I did not. Don't really need that. Just attached. Definitely still have the welder blame. Let's see. They have the Dene, they have the Dene. You would think they would go to Dene. They don't, so we're okay with that. And big knock. So, at least it was one prize for one. More choreo, always a, always a nuisance here. Again, uh, Victini's not really doing much because we keep running into these either uh, baby decks or we're running into tag teams. So I think people are starting to catch on that Victini's so good against the, the B decks really kind of bumping them down at the moment. Obviously, once rotation hits, it will be quite different. take that or quarry out that would be awesome <clears throat> okay what are we gonna get if uh do that Yeah, I think we take out the Aura Choreo, <clears throat> first and foremost. <laughs> if 
before we do that, pokey gears. See if we can get that other boss. Um, sure, we can take that out. Float up is always a nice thing for later. Probably don't need the professors. Uh, Marnie's always a good option. Get that boss out there. Take that Oracorio out. And stop them from drawing cards every time we knock something out, which is great. And kind of jump ahead of the curve here. If they miss knockout here, we can take the Dene out, and I think we're just golden at that point. Or they can take Oracorio out again, that's fine. Spike Myth, which is, we're not, you know, we're, we're expecting that. They can't retreat here because they kill each other, or themselves, unless they put a Cape of Toughness on. I'm expecting a Jinx. Yeah. That should do it for us, right? No. So we're going to die next turn, which is fine by us. We just take out that and maybe even float up for win next turn. Outrage. And there you go. Okay, and there you have it. Victini VMAX it can do work against those meta decks. It can do work against single prizers. It can do work against tag teams. It can do work against VMAX. Um, it kind of is very versatile. It has great matchups, or at least 50-50 matchups across most of the meta decks. So I think that's why it's so popular. Um, again, lots of options, but I, um, I want to hear what you guys think. So let me know down in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.